I am not sure. Just help those under the anointing. I am not sure there is any major season in my life where a man did not partner with God to make it happen for me. This is the mystery of ease. What are you looking for that men cannot be used by God to do? Visa, travels, a job, a good word is that you've not, met the, you've not met the right people. It is not every man that can give you every answer. That's why not everybody could bring Joseph out of the pit. It had to be the king. It had to be the king. Had to be the king. Man of God, let me give you a prayer point. Go back home and pray. That small work can grow. You don't have to compromise. You don't have to do a lot of things and manipulate people. Just go on your knees and cry. God, when you sent me, you also sent helpers. The assignment has arrived, but the helpers have not come. Bring them speedily to protect my integrity. Hallelujah. Let me tell you this. Don't take advantage of men, but I will tell you this. When you find the men sent to you, you will be flattered by their level of loyalty and commitment. Not the one you called, not the one you begged, not the one you manipulated, not the ones who are transactional. Men sent by God that they know that my standing with you is my assignment. Whether in intercession, whether financially, there are people I got to know who pray for me every day. Every day without fail is their assignment till they see the Lord. And I met them. It, it, they, they were not, it wasn't even their business whether they meet me. It's their commitment, like their assignment without fail. They are more prayerful than even me that God called. Lord, you will not fail. Open doors. All they need to know is what ministry project is on ground now. They distribute that prayer request among themselves. Open fire, day, night. And some of us just cruise on the wings of genuine intercession. Hallelujah. I have a dear friend of mine and he was telling me that every time he has a great meeting, that's how they have a group of people who pray for him. I said, my brother is like that for everybody who God called and knows how to attract helpers. Are we together? That a helper can come and call you and you say, I'm in a meeting. Say, I will wait. I just wanted to know, have you eaten today? You say, why are you so concerned? How about your children? What school are they going to? I hear that you have a program in Lagos. Do you have a house to stay there? Please, there's one of my friends. Some, do you need any help at the airport? Um, I hear your child is relocating. There is a scholarship program. Um, I have a slot. Can I give your child? And you are wondering why this? Help us. Numbers 1-5. Let me draw me to your head again. These are the names of the men that shall stand with you. These are the names of the men that shall stand with you. Joshua Selman, there are names, there are names like you have submitted names. They will stand with you. This is not just for a man of God. Anybody on the business of kingdom advance, there is a roll call. And tonight may God make that roll call. There are people for your sake. John, where are you? Why have you not helped this pastor? That billionaire man, where are you? I, I told you from January that you will help build a church for a man of God. This is the man of God. Give him all your support. And the man says, yes, sir. And he comes to meet you. I am on a mandate to help you. And you say, no, 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 no. I don't want manipulation. He said, look, I'm a man of integrity. I was sent by God. Where will I get the land? Don't worry. My friend is the director of lands. Where will I get the construction? This is what I'm doing. Where will I get the architects? Don't worry. My younger brother is an architect. Come on now. Everything you need. This is what the Bible means when it says, and God is able to make all grace. All grace. Everything required. You want to step into a place to do ministry. As soon as you step in there, your first prayer, your keyboard is comes, your drummer comes, are we together? Your worshippers, they all come as if they were dragged with a rope. Oh, we are here. Why are you here? Well, we just felt to come and join the prayer meeting. 
and he said, okay, you take 10 minutes prayer. You sing praise and worship. And the lady raises that prayer, that, that song. And you say, I found my music director. I found the head of prayer. I found the drummer. And someone will say, is it that? How did you gather them? No, you don't have the power to call them. They are brought. They are brought. They are brought. They are brought. Learn this. They are brought. Man of God, you can't gather members. Nobody has the power to gather members. They are brought. There is no skill that is enough to gather members. Human beings are not animals. They are brought in honor to these things. Da 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 Every long-standing issue around your life that requires a man to step in I cry to the God of Sabaoth this night in the name of Jesus while you are asleep may God wake men and position men to see to it that those requests are answered speedily in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I think I've given this story here many times the former Amy and Zaria who died, please sit down, is dead now. One time a gentleman wanted to go to one of the institutions and because of the height requirement, they told him it was too short. And then his parents now led him and they went to the Amy and they said they could not admit that boy because he was too short. And then I was told that the Amy wrote that they should tell the commandant that he's added the height of the boy. Come on, added the height. Do you know what that means? If you are interested in remaining there, the height of this boy has been added by the leverage of men. I know someone today who is a graduate. He didn't score up to the cutoff point, far below the cutoff point, and it's not corruption. The teachers had, the lecturers had a slot. The people, they have a slot of who they can bring. Just drag the boy and kept him comfortably. Let me see who fights you. You can fight me in the office, but when I'm in my house. And that's how that boy just enjoyed and rode through like that. There is something called the leverage of men. The leverage of men. Who is understanding what I'm saying? Now. When Jesus was born, watch this. He paid the price to grow in wisdom, stature, favor, Luke 2, 52. And the Bible says the Holy Ghost representing the presence of God rested upon him. Remember? Matthew chapter 4, chapter 3 and then when you get to chapter 4, the Bible says he was led of the spirit to be tempted of the devil. As soon as Jesus came out, guess who he looked for? Men men filled with the holy spirit filled with wisdom but he knew that if he was to achieve this goal he needed men you would think he would ignore men because he had the holy spirit he had power he started calling them john come peter come andrew come whatever it is come and they made his job easy forget about all the troubles that happened within the system eventually he was able to leave to heaven knowing that the assignment will not fail because of the power of men. Let me tell you this. No matter how wealthy you are, if you do not have men, you are poor. No matter how wealthy you are, if you do not have men, you are poor. Let me give you the fourth. Give us 
this day our daily bread so you see that it's not just a chant our father who art in heaven hallowed be your name thy kingdom come thy will be done and so on and so forth give us this day our daily bread the fourth resource is called financial resource spiritual resources divine presence supernatural power intellectual resources knowledge understanding wisdom wisdom knowing the laws of the kingdom knowing the laws of the cosmos knowing how to engage them for your profiting number three human resources the gift of men the leverage of men number four financial resources financial resources financial resources please look up our world today as we know runs upon the strength of economy please lend me your attention this is very serious what i'm saying most people do not know how important financial resources are in comparison to all these other resources it is the lowest but as far as your actualizing destiny is concerned you need financial resources it will take money to pay for that house it will take money to build that church it will take money to pay your children's school fees please look up it will take money to eat daily even if it is men they will the the instrument of transaction in our world is largely finance that means when God wants to show you mercy among the many provisions he makes available for you finance I wish I had time I would have shown you how I got all of these things by now you would have known that it was by studying the person Jesus I took a study on Jesus all the resources he had that granted him access to accomplishing his assignment and all these four came from that study the presence the power wisdom understanding knowledge men men to a point that it threatened the Pharisees the Sadducees are we together that the whole city follows him and then resources Jesus had tremendous access to resources tremendous access to resources one time Jesus was teaching and the tribute collectors came to embarrass him and they came and said you are a preacher of righteousness and you've not paid your tax we are here representing Caesar and um, you need to pay your tax now you thought Jesus would say I hope you know I came from heaven go and check the census whatever it is I am from above don't ever bother me with the issue of tax because tax is for people within a territory and yet Jesus said no 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 provided I am on earth now even though I came from above I am living here in the earth and I must subscribe to the earth the principles and the principle for peace upon the earth is to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar even Jesus acknowledged that there are some things that belong to Caesar and that every time you are about your assignment Caesar will send tribute collectors to come and embarrass you there's nothing I know that embarrasses visions like the bankruptcy of finances you are anointed with a great vision to write a book to run a program but by the time you see the bills you shelve the vision doesn't matter what God told you only God knows the kinds of books today that would have empowered believers help believers bless believers today by the privilege of God's grace there are so many across the globe who are listening to these messages and are being blessed and transformed let me tell you it takes more than anointing there is a media system with cameras what tens and hundreds of millions that are able to provide this visual excellence that the globe gets blessed from I hope you know that resources refuse to be poor not as an issue of carnality oh I'm this and that no no for the sake of your destiny and God's program 
refuse i've made my choice in the name of jesus i've made my choice god was there satan was there i was there i made my choice that i will never beg to preach the gospel and i will never beg to eat while i'm preaching the gospel no i will not i don't believe that i will not be distracted by financial issues i will not major on minors and minor on majors but in all my getting i must verify that resources are also coming presence power wisdom men but i will check my bank account too and if i find out that something is wrong with it i will discuss with god what is wrong are we together there are many worries that are caused by lack of finances not demons you can wake up in the night the same time it takes to pray you are using to worry simply because the, they've given a pta letter that if by tomorrow you don't pay the school fees of your children there are many people dying of high blood pressure today courtesy the absence of finances are we together there are many family troubles that can be resolved in a moment through the blessing of financial empowerment jesus needed financial resources every one of us you need it if i ask you to submit just two prayer requests two special prayer requests and i ask you to be honest more than 90 percent of us here the first thing you write is finances every tenant knows where a house can be sold the limitation is finances are we together every pastor that seeks expansion has i presume enough vision to sponsor expansion it is largely finances when you give a godly visionary person resources then you will see the power of resources in driving visions by the privilege of god's grace he's granted us the grace to hold these conferences that we hold now we are preparing for sound of revival uk you imagine in your mind that you run three global conferences in one year without manipulation us not nigeria not africa and it doesn't matter how much your naira is dollar is dollar you pay in dollar um canadian dollar is canadian dollar they won't pity you because you come from nigeria if anything it will even work against you what is bringing you here if it's sinners you have them back home what, what are you looking for here and since you say you want it then there you go are we together especially with the kind of growing antagonism over the church the name of Jesus is very heavy it takes financial resources to lift it high it takes financial resources is someone hearing takes financial there are some of you now honestly if God empowers you now your parents will live longer than they are because some of them are sick now you can't even buy a supplement for them to just remain in health there are many parents now who say do you know what opportunity costs let me just be sick till I die focus on the children's school fees don't use their school fees to treat me simple sicknesses that can be dealt with medically but it's as simple as the resources you have in your hands. We have the honor today to do so many things for the kingdom. And I say this with every sense of, of humility. Still humbled by the things that we're able to do in partnership with the CSS group. These things take money. Empowering over 200 people. And then helping to fund some of the projects. Come on now. If you are not visionary, you don't need money. Hello? If you don't love God and you are going nowhere, you don't need money. Give us these days not for lazy people. Give us this day our daily bread is not for visionless people. Jesus was training people who would be apostles, sent ones. The problem with the issue of finance in the body of Christ is number one, it's been taught from a carnal standpoint, largely fueling the flesh. Number two, the accurate principles that make for wealth have not been holistically taught so they a part of it may be giving and then they stop there or a part of it entrepreneurship and it leaves a spiritual advantage 
but in the presence of balance and modesty the subject of finance must be taught otherwise the body of Christ becomes a poor impoverished people and my Bible says the rich will rule over the poor and the borrower will become slave to the lender if you are going nowhere you will not understand the implication but at a leadership level a governmental level and at a macro level of God's program you will see the, the danger of financial incapacitation that leads to servitude there are many small-minded people who will not understand this. If you are looking for money, for tea, bread, and your small selfish life, you don't need prosperity. You don't need increase. But when you are talking of God's program, there are many people who died today that less than a million naira would have helped them with one surgery. Yes, God heals, but not everybody is at the same faith level. As far as it depends on me, I will continue to pray that God will trust me with the resources of the kingdom and I will keep promoting him. How much money can you eat with? This is my stomach, all of it as you are seeing. So you don't need more than how many bowls of food can you eat? But we are talking of God's program. That under your watch, one child, if you can send one child to school, you have promoted God's program. If you can take one prostitute off the street, somebody who is roaming around because the parents could not solve their school fees and they are now initiated into terrorist groups because of two thousand one thousand you call that child off the street and say with ten thousand go to the school another school and you train that child money with vision some of you you are here and your mandate requires money a lot of it the mandate God has given you requires money. What do you think setting up that NGO is? You want to provide food? You want to take young girls off the street? It takes more than compassion, my dear. You will need resources. A prostitute who has been collecting money from strangers all her life. Now you want to take her off the street and leave her dying. She will go back. Hunger is the only reason why Israel goes to Egypt. I've taught you this. Every time you see Israel in Egypt, they shouldn't be in Egypt. But when there is hunger, even Jacob will send his sons, go to Egypt. I have heard Genesis 42, that there is food in Egypt. It says, go be eater and buy for us that we will eat and not die. For as long as I live, I will use my resources to promote the kingdom. I will use my resources to put a smile on someone's face. I'm not afraid to say it. I'm not ashamed to say it. If you come to me and I cannot help you, I won't hide it. I will say, let's pray. Money is not the only thing I can give you. Let's pray. If you don't believe in my prayer, leave my presence. Let's pray. If you come, let God choose what he will use me to give you. It's not always money. If God says I should give you anointing, I say, kneel down. And I'll pray for you. You'll be surprised that it will bless you more than what you are looking for. So I'm saying this as a disclaimer so you don't go and harass people and say, you God bless you. Mm -hmm. don't, don't behave like that. Don't be afraid of talking about finances. Be afraid of manipulation. Be afraid of carnality. Be afraid of the distracting effect of overflogging the issue of money. But as a tool for kingdom advance, if you don't talk about it and you don't deal with it you will pay the price with your life today by the privilege and the mercy of God we are able to protect the integrity of the gospel on account of financial resources it's not just a good heart there is no reason why I should pass a basket round my dear people asking you to give me money or asking you to I've told you this if I am hungry and after service there's no food on my table I will pass that basket oh Especially after preaching like this, I'm sweating. You are sitting, I'm standing. Pass the basket. And call it consultancy. <laughs> ah, goodness. No. May that day not come in this place. May that day not come. There are certain registers that have been signed once. 
the pen has been dropped down already it will not be lifted again do you know the joy to be able to call your loved ones maybe your parents maybe your siblings and say mama by God's grace God has shown me mercy I can send 20,000 you are in the village you didn't go to school but you gave birth to a child that knows God now and if you know that your people are fine it will help you to have focus how many of you agree on that Africa for you that when you know it is not well at home you cannot even have the the freedom the liberty how many preachers cannot preach because their very children cannot go to school the Holy Spirit is speaking they are not hearing and then someone now comes and says you know what this you're being broke there is a way we do ministry we do this and at first they'll say God forbid but because of the pain they'll say let's try this your thing again what did you say how do they do it and before you know it they get into things and it's easy for us to point hands at people but when you tell people what is wrong you show them how to do it right don't tell a lady don't be a prostitute show her how to live a life with dignity don't tell the guy don't do yahoo don't tell him don't drink he went into that yahoo because of his mother's health condition so as you rehabilitate him show him the kingdom's way of dignity and he will draw others using his testimony are we together the problem with the church is we like to point what is wrong always teach solution 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 not problems there's falsehood in church i agree what is the right way there's wickedness in church i agree what is the right way there's witchcraft i agree what is the right way don't just tell people what is wrong and program their minds onto failure it's important people know the way the way there is jesus the way god's modus operandi there is the way to prosper there is a way to take care of your children there is a way to do ministry with integrity there is a way to succeed in ministry without compromise don't just lash on what is wrong show what is right i respect people who teach solutions solutions haven't shown what is wrong recommend the path to glory with proof with proof recommend the path with proof if you tell me don't steal don't kill don't destroy don't prostitute recommend the path with proof that leads to honor this is why we don't just talk about it we set up programs that empower people and it will not stop in the name of jesus it will not stop no we're not afraid of that when it has to do with blessing people we'll pray for you spiritually but we'll come up with financial empowerment programs for as long as my life it will continue it is our contribution we may not do everything but jesus says we are the light he says we are the salt are we together I'm able to do what I do today as a man of God because by the privilege of God's grace my parents my family they're, they're happy I'm honored to see that they're happy it gives me the focus to do what God has called me to do if someone God forbid says my mother is sick or my father is sick and because of one million naira you think I'll travel anywhere to preach I will go around looking for the money and most likely I'll come to your house that's where you misuse the prophetic gift out of pressure you force that prophetic gift to show you where money is and you call the person do you respect me yes all right uh, my mother is sick what is God saying nothing you are not hearing what is God saying you are not hearing okay let me tell you what he's saying I can shout like this because there's food in my kitchen by the grace of God when I'm done shouting I give God glory and I will sit down and eat I must make sure there's food on your own table too I've told you this for as long as you are under this grace you will hear the whole counsel of God 
I will never teach you to be a spiritually vibrant people at the expense of other aspects of your life. If your parents are happy, if your loved ones are happy, if your children are happy, they will ask you, where were you taught this truth? They will come by themselves. Publicity is at the instance of impact, not sentiments. Impact, not sentiments. Hallelujah. When Jesus said, give us this day our daily bread, please look up. He was making you know from this teaching that there are resources, many of them beyond the third dimensional realm, and that there are laws that can draw to your space these resources. And it is with these resources you will do business for the kingdom. The resource of his presence. The resource of his power. The resource of wisdom. Understanding. Knowledge. The resource of the gift of man. Stationed across strategic points of your destiny. Like ushers. Helping you to rise. Helping you to stay. And then financial resources. I have seen what money can do when it enters a good hand i've seen what money can do when it enters an evil hand i've seen what money can do when it enters a wicked hand i've seen what money can do when it enters an occultic hand i've seen what money can do i think i was telling them in kenya i've said it here that there are many sons of the born woman buying up many auditoriums in europe where we are using for several crusades and as soon as they buy it the first law is that crusades will not hold here again it's a deliberate plot from satan a deliberate plot from satan but when believers are empowered by the mercies of god we will be able to do much for the kingdom and we'll stand at the mountain top and shout his name and tell the nations jesus save and tell the nations Jesus heals and tell the nations that Jesus delivers and give us many people a chance to make this decision for Jesus I made reference to these statistics that there are about 8.2 billion people on earth believers who love Jesus listen 8.2 billion people on earth and we have a little above 2.6 billion professing Christians the margin is still wide still wide he says and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached across all the earth as a witness those who went ahead of us they've done their own part they've joined the cloud of witnesses now the baton has been given to us we must not fail and we must study their lives for the things that were written aforetime they were written for our learning so that we through patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope we must use the same formula they used. How did Reinhard Bonke come to Africa? By the use of these resources. The presence, the power, the wisdom, understanding, the gift of man, and finances. Finances. Now that we hold global crusades, I have an idea of what that great patriarch would have been spending per crusade. It is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Go and browse. Christ for all nations crusades. Go and browse Maurice Sorulo crusades. Go and browse T.L. Osborne's crusades in Kenya and India. I mean, these people pack stadiums with people. You think the government will come and fund you? No, sir. That's not the assignment. It takes high level resources. And there are people, whilst you are seated here, in the place of fasting and consecration, God has told you that there is a mandate. It's a financial mandate. Don't look at yourself as just a businessman. Look at yourself as a minister. It's not just about buying and selling. Buying and selling is to make you access the resources. There is a lot to be done for the kingdom. If you are not interested in Jesus, not his program, you will not be interested in what I'm saying. But if it's the business of Jesus, we're able to travel around the world and do the things that we do. How do you think you rush to one nation and you must be around and be present to do what you're doing? It's resources, oh. It's resources. It's not just vision. It's not just a good heart. It is resources. Man of God, in all you're getting, trust God for grace I have done several teachings on finances I don't want to talk about it here go and listen to my messages the power to get wealth 
part one to three listen diligently seasons of abundance listen diligently true riches listen diligently the capital that buys money listen diligently everyone you see whether in ministry in leadership in business who is scaling heights as far as their prophetic assignment is concerned they have mastered the art of receiving their daily bread their daily bread their daily bread their daily bread koinonia runs today because by the privilege of god's mercy we have learned how to receive for this ministry our daily bread daily bread of his presence daily bread of his power for the hour are we together daily bread of wisdom bringing you life applicable holistic building truths per week a product of his wisdom the resources of men not just men in terms of membership men in terms of enhancers of efficiency stationed across several strata that where the need arises there is a man to stand and make for this work to be efficient and to be easy and then by the privilege of God's mercy the resources to run the assignment without compromise